Hello everybody, and this is a quite a special video for you watching. Um, there's myself and John Ward, and we have the absolute pleasure of interviewing Mr. Ray Taylor, who's an electrical contractor. Now, Mr. Ray Taylor may sound familiar to you, or he may look familiar, because he's been in the news recently. And you've been in the news because you've, been, you've taken a rather unique uh, stance on tool theft from vans. So maybe you want to start telling us why you took this stance. Well, I've had... Uh several attempts on my van the first time uh, i i did have a car and they they stole all my tools two and a half grand's worth of tools and they stole the car and i've never seen it since and then in january that got broke into again and i stole around the same amount of value so that's the second time so i decided to do something about it and i designed an alarm on my van to protect all the vulnerable areas where these people these thieves break into it so I've kind of covered every area but the uh, I've had three attempts this year and I've uh, three runners all three have run off because mm -hmm. of how loud it is but the last attempt uh, one of them while the alarm was going off he actually opened the back door while the alarm was going off in a brazen fashion and he opened the back door and stole a drill. So I decided to come up with the, the idea of how can I protect the back door? So I'll put a sh this little shocking device on it. So uh, we'll see how we get now, see if I have any more attempts on it. And if they, if they try and try the back door now, we'll see how they get on. Fascinating. <clears throat> So, um, so you've you've wired up with a small shocking device. Obviously, you're not going to show us or give us the wiring schematics to allow everybody yeah. else to copy of it. But um, you, it, I was reading in the in the news um, that the I believe the police spoke to you about it, or there was a, there was a, a question on the legality of it, and um, and it's and it's good. Yeah. Well, the, the Sun newspaper put in there, and it's uh, it's legal. Yeah. Okay. It's legal to have the on your van. Mm -hmm. But uh, I could be responsible for any any injuries, injuries caused to anyone who tr who attempts to get in the van. So uh, I, don't, I don't know. Well, I wouldn't cry too much for anyone injured trying to break into a tradesman's van. I don't know yeah. about you, John. Have they definitely confirmed that it is a legal thing? To it's use, it's or? legal to put it on the van, uh, and they say uh, it's not a criminal offence. Uh, but if if they touch it, perhaps I could be, uh, I could be, you know, uh, charged. Charged, yeah, yeah, Warned, yeah, cautioned, yeah. cautioned, yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, it's a grey area with the police. He, mm -hmm. They haven't got any answers for it because I spoke to the police and they said, uh, "Who's told you it's legal, Ray?" Right? Mm. And I just said, uh, "Well, they, uh, they, they put, they put it in the sun that it's legal." because the crime police officer up there the crime commissioner uh, said it's okay to go but mm. west midlands police are not having anything to do with it so if they i had their backing like they did in london perhaps this could go on some more vans i think i think this kind of sets a precedence really isn't it i mean there's this has never ever been heard of which makes your story so fascinating nobody's gone to this length but with the amount of vans being broken into and the and the, the livelihoods being destroyed you know for me and John, I don't I don't blame you at all to be honest you I think it's a I don't know why Ford and all the other manufacturers don't wire up the vans anyway to be perfectly frank. This van they're seeing well, isn't, isn't something that's rare it happens like once twice I mean you can look on Twitter and you can see people pretty much every day. It's every day. Stuff, it's every single done. day. I've had three attempts with three different vehicles so yeah. I think people are jumping on the bandwagon. Everybody knows about it now, so they're all having a little go at it. I know loads of people that have been done. Um, you hear about it constantly in social media. Years ago when I had a van, I got done. Um, I've wanted to buy another van, but it's one of the things that prevents me from actually going and buying an unmarked white van is because somebody will try and peel the doors. Um, what's your views on the fact that when a tradesman goes out and spends a large chunk of money trying to you know build a livelihood build a business that once he's bought the van he's now having to go out and doing all these additional measures to protect his livelihood 
Well, you know, they've done it to me. Mm. They shouldn't have done it to me because I know what to do to beat them. I've put that on. I never, ever thought for one minute it would get this. All I did was just pull a little shocker on my van and just showed you on Facebook. And it's gone crazy. I didn't know what I'd done. I've created a monster, really. But everyone loves this monster. Do we, do we give OBEs for these sorts of initiatives? Because, hey, if the Queen's people are watching, give this man an OBE because this is a really good, socially responsible thing, protecting your livelihood. For me, sir, I think it's, it's not a bad thing, although I'm standing next to your van petrified because <laughs> I don't want to touch it's it. It's all right. It won't, it's it okay won't now. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> Would you be able to just give us a quick peek inside, maybe, to have a look? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. Let's have a look. Okay. Is the alarm set? Do you want the alarm to go off? Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, no. okay. And you've got the little blue flashing light in there as well. Yeah, if you want to go around and see that, but I don't know whether that's going to be uh, okay with okay, you. Okay, no, no, that's great. So, we're not going to give away any more secrets. Um, John, do you have any other questions? Yeah, I mean, is it, uh, what do you, can you tell us what type of voltage level it's using in the sort of general area? Mm. You don't have to do well, exactly. It's but. around 5,000 volts. The, uh, the electric fence, uh, farmer's fence, is yeah. around 8,000 to 10,000. Yeah. So it's in the same sort of... Oh, it's, it's in the, the same, same sort of very voltage. kind yeah, voltage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very kind voltage. And mine says danger live terminals, the farmer's fence says electric fence. Yeah. The it's duty of care right there. I put the sign up. <laughs> if you didn't read it, it's your fault if it hurts. Well, so yeah. That's very good. I was going to put them on the roof, but, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the sign them in. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to wake up in the morning and just be pushing the bodies off as, you, oh, as, no. as you're going off to work. Yeah. Council may have an issue with that. Maybe the police as well. So, there's never been any, well, not that I'm aware of, any fatalities touching a farmer's fence no nope. and there's a lot of people touch the farmer's fence you know absolutely in these tennis racket top floor squatters they are 2700 volts then mm -hmm. and them are lying around in the in so kids have got access do, yeah. to them you know so, so they're just yeah. picking on me really they're just picking on these because they really want me to take it off I think mm. to save their faces you know to save face because they can't really do anything about it what can they do well I, for one, Ray, hope you keep it on. To be honest with you, I think it's a wonderful thing. Controversial well, as some people may think, um, but if well, that's what we need to do. I said, it's, it was a sense, it's been a sensation, and I think it might be a sensation if they make me take it off, because that'll cause an uproar if I'm made to take that off, because that means I can't protect my tools then. Ray, I think your actions are sensational, sir, to be honest Thank with you. Thank you very much. Anyway, um, you got any other yeah, last well, thoughts? Say, you're not going to kill anybody, but if you grab hold of it, you're definitely going to know about it. Absolutely. Yes. yes. And on that, Ray, thank you very much thank for you talking very much. to us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. See you in the next one.